For me, I find the ability to rotate my drawing space very helpful in Toon Boom Studio. When I'm drawing on paper, I draw at an extremely harsh left angle. And I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I always draw this way. So if I were to grab my brush and to try to draw a profile of a head, for example, and this is pretty bad, and I would go ahead and divide the face up, you know, I would go ahead and draw the eyes and all that kinds of stuff. I have a hard time drawing this way. For me, I draw at an extremely harsh angle, so it's better if I tilt the drawing space or rotate it. And I can do that very easily by going to the view menu and I can choose to rotate either clockwise, rotate counterclockwise, or to reset my rotation altogether. As you see here, rotate clockwise is the letter V for Victor on the keyboard. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. And as you see, I can rotate that by pressing V a couple more times. And when I want to return to the regular view, just go to View, Reset Rotation. Or you could choose View, Reset View. If I want to go in the opposite direction, I can go to View, Rotate Counterclockwise, or C on the keyboard. Now I know you're probably asking yourself, well, what if I want to determine my own angle? I don't draw in any of those increments. I draw slightly to the left or slightly to the right. Well, it's not a problem. If you're on a Macintosh computer, you're going to press down Control and Command, and you're going to get this. And your mouse will turn into a double-sided pointing arrow, and you can click and drag to use the rotary light table and put it anywhere you like to. And once again, if you'd like to draw upside down, you can do this. If you're on a Windows PC, what you're going to hold down instead is Control and Alt. And you can do the same exact thing. So once again, this allows you to create the drawing space that you feel most comfortable with. Now, I draw like this. It's crazy. I draw very hard to the left. And another thing you can do with this technique is to use this in conjunction with the onion skin feature. So that you could draw something like this and then rotate the drawing space and draw the character in another position and then rotate it again. And I talk about how to use onion skinning in another lesson. So you can definitely combine those two techniques to create very accurate drawings.